So later on this year, we're going to be getting the new Mac Mini with an M4 inside of it and the M4 Pro too. But what other big changes could we be seeing inside of this model? Well, today we're going to discuss everything about the brand new M4 Mac Mini, including the release date and price, but I also want to go over more details about the M4 chipset or the SOC, and also I want to talk about the actual design of the Mac Mini too. And in fact, let's start with that first of all. So as you know, we've had the same Mac Mini design now for probably the longest time in any Apple product. The current aluminum sort of design that we have right now came about around about in 2010 and back then we did actually have a CD drive and since then the design has changed a little bit for that CD drive to disappear and really we've had the same design ever since. So this means we went through the whole sort of Intel sort of series and then we actually went over to Apple Silicon back in 2020 with the M1 and then back in 2023 at the very beginning we got the M2 and the M2 Pro inside of this design that we have right now. The Mac Studio that came out in 2021 is technically the same design as the Mac Mini but it's just about two and a half of the Mac Mini stacked on top of each other and actually the dimensions and the length and the width are exactly the same. It's actually just obviously the height what is different because obviously the Mac Studio has much more powerful fans inside of it to keep the likes of say the M2 Max and the M2 Ultra cooler whereas the Mac Mini just has the M2 and also has the M2 Pro and the fan inside of that is more than enough to keep this cool. Other design changes that we've seen on the back is obviously we've had the new kind of USB-C and Thunderbolt sort of designs and depending on what you pick if you pick yourself say an M2 you only get two of these ports on the back but if you get an M2 Pro you get four of these ports on the back and that is the main difference there. But what about a brand new design for the Mac Mini? Well, it's most likely that the actual sort of form factor is going to stay exactly the same. And in fact, we did have a leak a very long time ago from Min Chi Kuo who said that the actual sort of form and design would stay exactly the same, but we'd probably just get, a, say, a glass panel on the top of the Mac Mini instead. And obviously this would be, be made out of better kind of materials and things like this, but the overall sort of dimension would stay exactly the same. We still haven't seen this Mac Mini and to be honest I've not heard any leaks or rumours that it's coming out for the M4 series so probably at the moment as it stands unless we hear anything more into the near future this is how the design is going to stay this time round. So next of all is the chipset what's going to be inside of the new Mac Mini. Now obviously with the iPad Pro coming out and that has the M4 inside of it, it is very logical now that the Mac Mini is going to completely skip out the M3 altogether. At the end of the day we've just had WWDC 2024 in the summer, we've got no new kind of hardware announced at that event so it makes sense now that the next generation would have the M4 series inside of this. So this is coming along down the line and what this technically means is is that this would be the M4 and the M4 Pro replacing the M2 and the M2 Pro that's currently in the Mac Mini at the moment. For cores wise, most likely what's going to happen is, is that the M4 will be very similar to what we have with the iPad Pro right now. We'll probably actually get the 10 core CPU version, not probably the 9 core version, what you will get in sort of the lower 8 gigabytes sort of iPad Pro, the 256 gigabytes and 512 gigabyte model. We'll actually get the full fat milk version as it were. So we'll get the 10 core version of the CPU. So this would consist of four performance cores and six efficiency cores and we also get that 10 core GPU too. For the M4 Pro this one is going to be obviously more powerful than the M2 Pro and obviously the M3 Pro but what I'm going to say is it's really hard now to kind of guess of what many cores we're going to get inside of the M3 Pro because at the end of the day in the last generation the M3 Pro really stirred things up and Apple just like to chuck in efficiency cores or performance cores wherever they like now and it's just really really hard to work out what they're going to be doing for the next generation. Unfortunately, there's been no leaks of what the M4 Pro is going to look like in its core count, so we're not quite sure at this stage. But obviously, it will be more powerful than the M3 Pro, 
but it will also probably be a bit more efficient too with all those extra cores as well. So next of all, let's now talk about the release date and when it's most likely that we're going to get our hands on the new Mac Mini. Well, we've actually had a report in here from Mark Gurman earlier on in the year telling us when the actual M4 journey is going to start for Macs and when we're going to get everything. And as you can see right here, it's saying that the M4 Mac Mini is expected to come at the end of 2024 or into early 2025. And if this is the case, then most likely Apple will do an event right at the end of October time, very similar to like the Scary Fast event they did in 2023. Maybe the launch of the Mac Minis will probably come out in November time, and that's when we'll be able to get our hands on them in early November. The other idea is that it could be very similar to what the current Mac Mini, the M2 and the M2 Pro did, and this is that we'd get an event kind of in January time, or maybe into early February time, with these devices coming out around about that time, and probably with this, it would just be a pre press release with these chips inside of it. There would be nothing big coming out. There would be no sort of special event for this because at the end of the day, I don't think Apple would do this because there's probably going to be the new kind of MacBook Pros coming at the end of 2024. It would introduce the M4 and the M4 Pro. So there's not going to be a big kind of event, obviously, for the Mac Mini if this was going to be like about a month or two later. And it's the same chipsets and the design is going to be staying exactly the same. So no differences there, I don't think. But next of all, let's talk about the price and also let's talk about a summary of the specs that we know so far for the Mac Mini M4 and the M4 Pro. So as I already mentioned here, the design is probably going to be staying exactly the same unless we get any other new leaks or rumours. So it's going to be the same design, form factor, Mac Mini that we've known now for many years. The storage again will start at 256 gigabytes, and obviously this will be for the M4 version. And then obviously we would also probably get the 512, the one terabyte, two terabyte and four terabyte options. Mainly that two terabyte and four terabyte option will probably only be available for the M4 Pro option. Then for the actual chipsets or the SOC, we're going to get that M4 and that M4 Pro. As I already mentioned, it's going to be a 10 core CPU version and also the 10 core CPU version, GPU version, sorry, for the M4. But the M4 Pro, like we said, we just don't know at this stage because obviously Apple could just chuck in cores wherever they want. But what we do know is it's going to be made on the new 3 nanometer die. And then obviously storage amounts, the choices will be between 8 gigabytes and up to 24 gigabytes gigabytes for the M4 and then obviously for the M4 Pro it'll probably be 18 gigabytes up to 36 gigabytes of the choice that you have there. Like I said be a full aluminum unibody frame body at like what we have right at the moment and then obviously there'll be up to four Thunderbolt 4 ports if you go for the M4 Pro only two if you have the M4. There'll be two USB 3.2 ports the option of a 10 gigabyte ethernet if you want to get that but obviously the standard will just be the one gig and then obviously HDMI 2.1 port will be on the back too. The starting price for the M4 with 256 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM will be 699 US dollars. And there we have it guys, that is a summary of the M4 and the M4 Pro Mac Mini that is coming out later on this year. Are you excited about it? Are you going to be getting your hands on it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And also guys, it's time to wrap up this video, so if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button, also if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell as well. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.